Hello, greetings, everybody. Praise God. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, I'm happy and I'm glad to stand before you. I'm sorry, as I promised you, uh, I was supposed to have a, a morning live broadcast, but uh, because of a network issue, I couldn't. I couldn't. I tried and uh, failed, but I thank God that uh, I'm standing before you right now, and uh, I'm gonna, you know, be we're gonna be speaking to our God. I'm gonna be praying for you. Uh, there are so many people who send in their prayer requests. Uh, I'm gonna pray for you, and indeed, something's gonna happen in your life. There are some people. Uh, who are going through a difficult challenge upon to to the previous uh, teaching um, so many people uh, sent in their prayer requests and uh, today I'm gonna pray for you and I believe if we join together the faith if you combine faith together uh, I believe and I'm sure that God will do something in your life in the mighty name of Jesus First of all, uh, I want to shout out to all my friends out there, wherever you are watching me from, uh, those in USA, Canada, uh, UK, uh, Netherlands, New Zealand, uh, it, wherever you are watching me from. I want to shout out to you. Uh, keep watching, share this live video, share this video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then keep on sending in, keep on commenting your prayer request and I'll be praying for you in the name of Jesus. Uh, today I want to speak, I'm, I'm going to speak about something uh, concerning uh, marriage, something concerning marriage. So many people have been uh, uh, asking to be prayed for about their marriage and uh, I don't know, uh, I think it is this uh, generation where, I mean, this century, where so many people are, uh, you know, are being uh, interacted with, uh, I mean, they are being, uh, or they go through a challenge with their marriage. They go through challenges with their marriage. Praise God. Uh, we, 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 you all seen, you all, oh, you all heard about uh, uh, the richest man, Bill Gates. He got, uh, he signed a divorce with, with his wife, you know. So, and so many people, uh, friends, they are sending in their prayer requests. Their wives are, you know, they are divorcing. You know, she wants to, or, or they want to divorce, you know, because of some certain circumstances, of which I'm going to share uh, that spirit. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk about that spirit that uh, comes in the marriage session, and then it causes or it brings separation in marriage. Praise God. Um, before I start praying, I'm gonna read for you this uh, uh, this script or this uh, this text that I wrote down. Listen, Asmondias, Asmondias is a mythical spirit with characteristics such as overpowering, overpowering tendencies to rage, lust impetuousness, impurity, and the psyche activities. I may repeat, or oh, let me spell for you this word. A-S-R-S-M-O-D-E-U-S. Uh, Asmondias. Asmondias is that spirit, is that evil spirit that causes I mean, yeah, that causes separation among marriages or married people. Praise God. It, it has characteristics of overpowering 
of overpowering tendencies to rage, lust, impetuousness, impurity, and psychic activities. Praise God. So, if you have been divorced, you probably still have Asmodeus in you. If you have been uh, divorced, you probably still have Asmodeus in you. It must be cast out in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Uh, where about this comes? This comes when uh, and attacks, or it brings confusion in some in either on the side of a wife or on the side of a man. Like a, a wife can suspect my uh, can suspect that a uh, uh, man having another woman, or a man suspects another. Uh, his wife having another man so that is the spirit asmondias that is the spirit that brings or that causes separation in marriage praise god so uh it is not the fresh it is not the fresh and freshly appetites appetites and not a battle with the flesh but a battle with the king of demons who sits in the heavenly presence this is the is the type of demon that causes separation divorce and confusion in marriages it overpowers it overpowers uh, our our desire or our love the love that we have between a man and a wife a, a, a wife and a husband so it brings confusion if they if uh, if it sees that there is a good relationship between you two people it brings confusion it brings confusion it brings what we call jealousy uh the call uh Jealous, suspicious, in us. It is not lust. It is not fresh. You know? But it is a demon that causes, uh, that causes separation and divorce in, mar in marriages. So, this demon has to be overpowered in the name of jesus so it's what i'm going to pray for you for especially more especially for those who are going through a circumstance of divorce and separation in marriage first of all uh i'm gonna pray for i'm gonna pray for my brother uh, is called uh, my brother is called um, uh, let me get a name here uh, brother okay brother Maldonado Maldonado Liloy Liloy brother Liloy is one of uh uh one of the people who are going through challenges in in their marriages and another one is called parma parma is also going through a challenge with uh you know his wife wants to you know to, to divorce but god is god is gonna settle your marriages in the name of Jesus. This demon which causes separation, confusion, and brings divorce, it is going to be consumed with the Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus. 
uh, when we when we go when we read uh, in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 19 Matthew chapter 19 verse 6 the Bible says uh, let me read for you Matthew chapter 19 yeah verse 6 listen so then they are okay let me start from verses 4 and he answered oh this is how it started this is how it started the Pharisees also came to him t t testing him and saying to him is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason for just any reason just like uh, have had a story of a uh, of a uh, someone actually someone has told me that he has a friend and the friend is a woman this woman is married and he told me that they are in relationship and the woman told this this man that he no longer feels the other husband of hers and she wants to divorce now there is a spirit that causes con uh, uh, confusion and separation in marriage of which if you get engaged in praying seeking god's face asking god to break down those uh, demons that brings divorce, that causes divorce, separation in marriage, then your marriage will be well. Listen, this is what the Pharisees, the Pharisees, how they came and tested Jesus. They said, Is it lawful? Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? For just any reason and he answered and said to them have you not read have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female he made them male and female and he said for this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh and two shall become one flesh mm -hmm. verse 6 so they they are no longer two they are no longer two but one flesh therefore what god has joined together let not man man separate let not man separate so where does this demon get the authority to separate these two or this one these two who became one this those that god joined together where does this demon called asmodeus get the authority to separate these two so that's what we are going to fight for and that's what we are going to pray for in the name of jesus we're going to believe god to do tremendous work tremendous miracle so that our your marriage or our marriage can be in the hands of god can be resettled and move on the way it was some have been having the they had a good relationship in this in the beginning and now there is a lot of separation going on you know suspecting suspecting you know so that that is uh that is what we are going to to pay for and we believe God to do something. 
spring uh okay let me read for you this uh, article supreme court decisions to legalize same-sex unions are the latest valve salvo in satanized long battle against the institution of marriage satan is the god of this world second Corinthians chapter 4 and verses 4 who brands and deceives the whole world mm -hmm. revelation chapter 12 and verses 9 he is the head of vast of a vast powerful organized and malicious army arrayed against christ and the human race christ's redemptive work on the cross and his resurrection decisively defeated satan and his domain mm -hmm. praise god ephesians chapter 1 and verses 19 to 20 you, you will read there and colossians chapter 2 and verses 15 yet those united with christ are still engaged in in spiritual warfare those who are uh, those who are united with christ are still engaged in spiritual warfare so you who's going through this issue of marriage separation just to know that satan is trying to you know to bring confusion in your mind you know so that you you may you may be like the wife of job who told the job to cast uh, God and die and yet you are the servant of God what you got to do is stick on the line stick in the line of God seek God things are gonna change things are gonna change my brother Mar uh, Maldonado Leloy Leloy Palmer and others Stick on the word of God. Stick on seeking God daily. Keep praying. And God is going to reconcile your marriage. And you will come together in the name of Jesus. So these demons, that brings confusion, that overpower our love, the love that you, we have, in our marriage those are those demons we're gonna demolish them right now in the name of jesus nothing can separate what god has joined in the name of jesus now listen satan hates marriage he hates christian marriages in particular for believers dramatic 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 uh dramatizing Christ and the church powerfully display the gospel in their marriage. Satan thus aims to destroy Christian marriage marriages because such oppositions hinders the witness of Christ to the world. Listen to this very carefully. Listen, Satan thus aims to destroy Christian marriages. Because such opposition hinders the witness of Christ to the world. To encounter Satan's attack, we must understand God's design for marriage. Satan's strategy against it and how to stand firm in our marriages. In this article, I will argue these points by showing how Satan fractured the first marriage. Next, I will survey the biblical evidence of Satan's exp uh, explicit attacks against marriage. And last, I will lay out the divine resources given to Christian marriages to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Ephesians chapter 10 and verses 20. I mean, Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 20 when you read there you will get to understand 
you will get to understand uh, how Christians should get engaged in fighting for their marriages, in fighting for their marriages daily. Shouldn't always uh, stand on your knees and oh, you, see, you shouldn't st sit back when you see that your marriage is, is getting destroyed. It's good. So, uh, right now, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. There are some people that I believe right now God is going to be settling. Because of your trust with God, He will never leave you. He will never leave you. He, he cannot allow your marriage to, you know, to separate. He cannot. He can't. Because he is the God that chose for you that someone or that wife should have been with for all those years. You have children and Satan comes wherever he comes and brings confusion in your wife thinking that you have another wife somewhere. So, God is going to handle that. In the name of Jesus, I'm gonna pray and believe God to do for you something in your life. Uh, the three points that uh, I'm, a share, I'm, I'm to share, I think I will share in the next in the, in the next episode, and then we shall be winding, uh, overlapping it about marriage. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this wonderful day that you made for us to rejoice in. In the name of Jesus. I bless your holy name. I give you all the glory and honor because you are good, Lord. You are good, Lord, because you do tremendous work in our lives. You do things that we never expect to be done in our lives. You have given us things that we never expect to have in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I stand before your saints, as I stand to speak before your people, Lord, there are people that are going through uh, some certain circumstances with their marriages, in the name of Jesus. Father, you spoke in the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 6, that what God joined together let no man separate. Lord, today I command that demon, Asmodeus, that comes from wherever and is, brings confusion in those that you join together. Lord, right now I rebuke that demon. I rebuke it. I rebuke it from its root. And I call upon the consuming fire from heaven to come and consume every wicked forces that it want to attack the families, the, the families of my brothers and sisters, which leads to divorce. Father, these are the very people that yearn, that look upon you, that look upon you for safety refugee for protection lord i pray for protection against their marriages in the name of jesus may you father call out uh, sending your angels sending your angels the gods the, the the army of heaven to come and fight against these demons in the mighty name of jesus and if lord is uh, and if it happens as a test, Lord, in the lives of my brothers who are watching me right now, Lord, help them to overcome the test. 
because it's you who tests them and it's you who gives them power to overcome the test. Lord, the, the suspicion on the side of a wife or a man, Father, reveal exactly what's going on in their marriages. Reveal on this opposite side, reveal what exactly happening in their marriage so that they can understand and not be blinded with the confusion that that is brought uh, which is brought by asmondias the, that demon in the mighty name of jesus father i pray for my for my sister uh, kathleen kathleen bradishaw father i pray that you may protect her protect her in whatever she's going through and anything that happens in her life lord if it's not your will lord take it away but if it is your will father help her i pray that you you may help her give her grace to overcome the situation in her life in the mighty name of jesus lord i pray for my brother kevin anderson anderson you showed me in a vision when she's being set free lord i pray that you may set him free set him free from any weak forces that it wanna come in his life that crazy that crazy demons that came and attacked his back may the heavenly fire come and consume that cricket with uh, demons in the name of Jesus set him free right now thank you Jesus I pray for my brothers and sisters for those yeah, I don't remember, but they they, 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 they have what they, they, they feel that they want you to do for them. Lord, provide them. Lord, heal them. And those who are hospitalized, they are admitted. Lord, I pray that you may heal them. Heal them, King of Kings. Heal, the, heal them, Lord of Lords. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Lamb of God, because you are the God who does tremendous work in us. We cannot survive if it's not your grace. We cannot live if it's not your grace. You provide us, Lord. You provide. Those who don't know even what will happen tomorrow. Because you said, if at all you can provide for ravages in the air, for birds of the air, who don't sow? Who don't, you know, who don't uh, cultivate or plant or do anything? But you provide them. Now, what more shall you do for us? We believe, and I believe, that you will do great and mighty and powerful things for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this marvelous day. I give you all the glory and honor. I worship you, King of Kings. I worship you, Jesus, because you are good. You are good unto my life. You are good to me, Lord. You are good to, to those people who are watching right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. 
Thank you, Lord of Lords. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Uh, David's experience of hopelessness in times of trouble. Those are uh, the situation. Not only the situation of marriage, but other people going through different situations. And that's what we are praying for. And that's what I'm praying for. God to reset all. God to reset your life. Reset yourself spiritually and accelerate physically. Reset your life spiritually and accelerate physically. It means that engage yourself in the spiritual life. Walk according to God's will. Do exactly what God wants you to do for Him. And follow His principles. And then you will accelerate physically. You will live a better life. Praise God. Listen. Uh, David suffered through a stressful situation because of King Saul's jealous and hatred. Remember, read it for you. And I, I want to repeat it again. Only a few verses before our key passage for this devotional, he mourns that even his family turned against him. Psalms chapter 27, verses 10. He felt as if the, the bottom had fallen out of his world and he stood on the brink of losing all hope. Life must surely end. Joy was gone from his life. And David wondered if life could, if life could ever return to normal. Praise God. So, David's solution to hopelessness is found in our verses. He trusted the goodness of the Lord. In these verses, he is reminding himself of what he believes, of whom he trusts. We read that the same kind of self-encouragement in Psalm chapter 42 and 43. David knew God was good. He knew he could trust the goodness of God. He had the assurance that God would even let him see the goodness before he died. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the lands of the living. Praise God. So, if at all, David knew that God was surely more than able to do what he did not, or what he didn't expect, then also you, you should have that faith in you. You should have that trust in you that God can surely settle your marriage. God can surely heal you. God can surely do tremendous work in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to bless the Lord for this wonderful day. I want to thank God for you who is watching. And I pray a blessing of our father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob into your life, into your family, to your marriage, into your business, into your work that you do in the name of Jesus. May God uh, work in your life today. May the goodness of the Lord be with you. And may his mercy and loving kindness be upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly share this video, like, and subscribe. Subscribe. You can you click the button down there to subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive more episodes uh, that will encourage you tremendous and more and more and more 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for my people. I pray for my friends. I pray for your people, Lord. Protect them, keep them safe, uh, preserve them in the name of Jesus. Help them, Father, overcome the world. Help them overcome the challenges that they are going through in their families, in their marriages, in their workplaces, in their businesses. Father, I pray that you may protect them, heal those who are heartbroken, mend their hearts, Father. Heal those who are sick right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you said that we shall lay hands on the sick and the sick will be healed. I lay my hands right now to you and in the name of Jesus, I command you to be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Amen. So thank you very much for watching me. You can write me. My email is down there. Write me, write me in a prayer request and I'll be praying for you. Or you can inbox me, no problem. God bless you. Have a nice day. See you in the next episode. Amen.